The prodigal son hath returned. It is I, the kid, the goat, the young god, Toby the Tyrant, and we are here today with another build video. Uh, in the recent Prime Clippers Blake Griffin, sorry, in the recent Prime Clippers Blake Griffin build I dropped, uh, I had a comment in the comment section saying to make a Shaq build. So I'm here today. Uh, position wise, we're gonna go with the center to make this Shaq build. Hand in this jersey number, really up to you. You can go with the right handed 32 or 34. Uh, it's, I'm here to make the play style. If you want to make the exact build the way Shaq is, that's up to you. Paint Beast pie chart, uh, which is red, blue, physical profile. I'm going to go with balance. You can go with strength and uh, agility or strength and vertical, but I'd say balance is probably the best way to go. You're still going to have that high strength, pretty good uh, speed and vertical. Now getting into the attributes, we're going to max close shot. Driving dunk is going to be up to a 71 to get that 20th finishing badge without uh, having to spend four extra attribute points and post hook and standing dunk are going to max out free throw we're going to take up to a 69 uh pass accuracy max out ball handling we're going to take that up to a 43 and post moves we're going to max out to get 12 playmaking badges interior defense we're going to max out block offensive and defensive rebound we're also going to max out and with these last 15 you can put them into lateral quickness or still it's really up to you uh, I'd probably take lateral quickness to help you with your hedging and your uh, possibly switching on pick and roll defense. If you want to put it in steel to be in more lanes effectively, that's up to you. But you see the layout 21, 12, 24 makes you pretty great on the inside, uh, offensive end and defensive end wise. Now, body shape, we're going to either go with burly or built. I'm going to go with the cock diesel shack built body shape. Height, though, we're not going to go. The 7'2 height that Shaq usually is. As you get to seven foot and start going above, you become far more of a defensive liability. You're slow, you're sluggish with your movements, you can't hedge properly, and you can't even switch if need be on pick and roll defense. So the highest I would ever go is 6'11. But even still, going 6'10 and 6'9 is far more effective. Uh, you, you become much more of a pest in every aspect of the game at that matter. You still get both. Uh, I'm sorry, not both. All three contact dunks, uh, Pro Elite and Big Man with uh, either 6'9 or 6'10. Even 6'11, you still get them. But I'd say it's more effective to go lower heights. We're going to go with 6'11 here to get as close as we can to Shaq's height. Weight-wise, I'd say go 254. It's the highest you can get uh, boost to your interior defense without losing any other attributes like lateral quickness. You can go if you want to go to a 60 lateral quickness is fine for you and you want to keep going up. Then you can go to, what is that? Keep going all the way up to 271 and get that plus six on your lateral. I mean, I'm sorry, on your interior defense, but you lose a lot of acceleration and vertical in the process. So I'd say going 254 is fine. Max your wingspan, of course, you're a center. You, I mean, it's gonna improve on your defensive end and you don't need the shooting aspect. Now take over, you got two options. It's really up to you at that point. You see it's a paint beast uh, similar to the most winningest championship player in history, NBA-wise, you got Bill Russell. With that comparison, you don't really get a Shaq comparison making this build, but you don't really need it because you have the play style and that's what really matters. So getting into these badges, like I said, the layout's 21, 12, 24. I'm gonna go Hall of Fame contact finisher, silver deep hooks, silver lob city, at least gold and at least gold in both drop stepper and back down punisher. Silver, uh, relentless and put back to help out with the contact dunks. Um, probably silver pick and roller or silver consistent or even going silver slithery or you can put them in back down punisher or drop stepper. If you're really feeling you don't think you need relentless uh, in the paint, then that's uh, another Hall of Fame finishing badge you can make. So boom, boom, you wanna go deep hooks off or lob city or even put back boss. It's really up to you at that point. Uh, you can go pick and roller but shooting badge, you only get one. You can go ice and veins for those free throws and then wreck. That's the only reason why I put the free throw ability in there. Yeah, I know Shaq wasn't that great at free throws, but he wasn't really a mid-range, three-point, or post-fade kind of guy either. But in the wreck, you don't want to be bricking everything. You want as many points as possible to help your team win. So turning on uh, the free throw attribute can help you. You can put on ice and veins if you want. You don't really need it if you know how to shoot free throws. So I'd go with slippery off ball to keep you more involved in the offense. Post playmaking wise, of course you need the trifecta on gold, all gold, everything, C3PO. 
we're gonna go unpluggable silver or bronze break starter or you can swap them and make um unpluggable silver i'm sorry not unpluggable silver break starter silver and bronze unpluggable it's really up to you you can alternate defensive wise i'm gonna go with at least gold possibly half brick wall uh silver box gold rebound chaser i would say gold rim protector silver pogo uh probably a silver post move lockdown silver interceptor uh hall of fame intimidator and silver chase down you can put on um if you want off ball pest to help you guard the pick and roll more uh effectively maybe even a worm um maybe clance if you want to switch out on the ball handler possibly if need be but i would never recommend lightning reflexes or moving truck or heart crusher and defensive leader is really up to your team's play style at that point if you think they need it or if they would prefer you to have it but that is my shack build i remember to drop a like leave a comment share with your friends and family everyone you know uh, turn on those notifications and hit that subscribe button i'm going to be coming out with more build videos i'm starting to get into my commentary gameplay videos so be looking out for those and of course i'm still going to be dropping mixtapes uh thank you for listening and watching i am toby and i'm out